I know it don't fuck with bull. I'm always on season five numbers after the name. A little way same Wednesday. That's what y'all been waiting for. The first duos win over here in blackout. Y'all already know how it is. Put in work over here with the captain. Y'all already know who we be, what we be is talking about over here, man. I'm gonna do a little bit different thing with these blackout videos. Usually I just kind of talk at the beginning and then I kind of disappear and y'all can listen to the rest of the video. <laughs> I think I'm gonna, excuse me, I think I'm gonna come in uh, at pivotal moments of the game. Uh, and kind of go from there. And I think this is our first one. We got, we actually got two in a row to start off. And then we were going to get three. And then we got hit with a connection interrupt. We were going to get three. We were stacked. Level 16 armor. 15 sensor dots. 30 cluster grenades. Five people left. We were in the perfect part of the circle. And I was like, oh, we got this three in a row. And then, like, connection interrupted. I'm like, damn, they pulled the Ethernet call. Don't you just hate that, yo? Um, and we kind of alternate where we start and start off with, man. The key with duos is, and it's very different than how you play, uh, the, the, the one player mode is communication. Uh, because in, in the, in the suit, in the single player mode, in single player mode, jeez, I'm looking for, yeah, I guess single player mode, I don't know what the hell I'm looking for. When you play by yourself, when you're lonely, and you don't got no friends, and you play by yourself, uh, solos, single player, solos, whatever you call it. Uh, when you do that, uh, you know all your decisions, you know what you're doing, you, need, you know what everything you hear and whatnot, you know where you're at, you know that when you shoot somebody, they go down, it's dead, it's over, here they go down, they can be revived, it's still, you gotta communicate and stuff like that, like, there's a lot going on in this mode over here, um, that I didn't fully even anticipate when we initially played over here, so it's all about kind of communication and being on the same page with your teammate, and I believe, I believe that there's somebody on the boat over here, which is why we decided to push heavy. I'm always for pushing heavy, like, early on. I use the sensor dart stupid early. I normally wouldn't use the sensor dart this early, um, but I consider it important. I, I, and I think he has a sensor dart as well, so I was like, whatever. One thing that I could give you kind of a little blackout tip is use your shit, man. Like, I mean, think about how many times you will die that you don't end up using, like, your stuff. Like, that you, like, you just don't use it. Like, nah, man, just use your stuff. Like, what else are you doing? So go to this guy's backpack over here. Mainly, not only to take his stuff, but to kind of see if I could draw on his friend and be like, all right, man, we popped this boy. I'm in his backpack. Like, where are you at? You gonna come? You gonna show up? What's, like, what's happening over here? But I see his friend doesn't show up, and we don't even see him on, the, like, the damn little radar. So I'm like, all right, like, I, don't, I don't know what his boy is. I guess his boys like, really don't care about his life, which is fine. You know, it's up to everybody to decide whether you care about people's lives or not. Uh, so we're taking over here, and I'm kind of looking. I'm like, this guy's got to be coming, right? And I see him out there. We down him. All right. So I'm going to let you guys be over here for a minute, man. And then we're going to come back over here, and we're going to recapitulate once some, some more madness happens, man.
Hunter. Further collapse expected. Travel to indicated safe zone. Sit rep. Circle collapse imminent. Get to safety. Net call. Supply drop incoming.
Further collapse expected. Travel to indicated safe zone. Sit rep. Circle collapse imminent. Get to safety. Supply drop inbound. Be advised, further collapse expected. Relocate to safe zone. Circle collapse imminent. Get to safety.
right, we're coming back over here, man. So we picked the cemetery over here, which I actually picked by accident. I, I wouldn't have gone to the cemetery. I don't really like the cemetery. But I picked the bar in the map over there earlier. And we're like, all right, we're going to head here. And it works out pretty well, as you'll see. The captain sees this dude running. Puts a couple bullets in him. I drop him. I'm like, all right. We drop that dude. Cool. Here, this, like, care package falling down. Now, we, we already know. We stacked him. We got a level 3 armor. We picked up earlier in cargo. Like, that thing's still, like, holding up and whatnot. So, I'm going to go check his stuff over here, even though we both shouldn't be checking his stuff. But maybe the captain's actually looking at other stuff. Who knows? Maybe he's actually doing something positive over here instead of everybody running to. Number one mistake I make in late game situations is going for people's backpacks. Unnecessarily going for people's backpacks. So, I kind of dip inside this mausoleum over here. I kind of want to just reassess my life. Think about where I'm at in life. Think about, like, you know, my kids, my family, and my work, and stuff like that. We got lucky that the circle kind of landed over here in front of us. And I was like, all right. I was like, we stick around here. Like, that's, that's kind of what we do. I just wanted to stick a little, little bit further back over here on the blue. I always kind of try to walk with the blue over here. Unless, like, there's something good in the middle that I kind of want to go to. But I want to make sure there's nobody behind us over here. And I think we did a very good job, almost unspoken here, of setting up where one of us is looking one way, one of us is looking the other way. And there was like a gun over there on the ground. I'm like, huh? Like, what the? So I'm kind of looking, looking around, looking, just peeking, Get to checking out if anybody's coming. We hear some shots. Not too many people left over here. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to kind of lay prone over here because if they come in, I'll be able to see him. And I'll also be able to see our front. And he's kind of looking over here to my right. Uh, and then we're kind of just communicating like what we see and what we check out. I'm looking, I'm feeling like what I feel comfortable with, whether I want to remove the scope or not. Because sometimes, like, by the time I get to the end of the game, I don't really want this 3X scope anymore. And I'm looking, I'm like, all right, I'm going to put this Molotov on, which if you've seen my times with the Molotov, oh, it's great. I think it's about, like, a, I got, I have a 100% hit rate with the Molotov whenever I throw it. It's just, like, always to me, though. Like, it's not really a 100% hit rate to anything else. Like, I always just hit myself. So I'm kind of looking over here. I'm kind of creeping. I'm listening, too. Uh, both of the headsets on over here, so it, it's crucial. To not make a lot of noise, just kind of hear what's happening over here. I'm trying to, like, kind of crawl up so I don't get, like, really hit with the circle over here. And I don't really want to pop up like I did. But I'm looking, kind of peeking. I figured we heard some bullets coming from Asylum, so somebody had to be going from Asylum. I was like, there's got to be somebody coming from this way. And my goal was that hopefully they rush in right here through this door and I just pop them. See if it actually happens or not. I don't really know. And I guess we all know the outcome of this game. Uh, so we're looking over here. We're listening, hearing. Get up, go down, Further get up, go down. Expected. And we see another little circle right here, and I'm like, oh. I was like, hold up, this is like pretty tight over here. And I believe the captain has a sensor dart that he's going to use here soon. If not, I have it on the guy. I have it, so he has it. Um, yeah, he put it up there. So that thing's like mad close. I threw on that paranoia just in case. All of a sudden, I see this like Jeep next to me that I hadn't paid no mind. He's telling me kind of where these people are at. I see him over there. Get him with the Molotov. Pull out the SMG. Manage to pop him. So come back down. I'm like, all right. I was like, there's one down. Okay, so we got the, I mean, the sensor dart throw was perfect here, where it, like, just lands perfectly as to, like, where these guys, where these guys have to go, which is just crucial, and the sensor dart is such an amazing late-game item. I mean, it, it is, it's, oh, <laughs> I can't gush it anymore. It's sensor dart and cluster grenades. I love cluster grenades. And even, you know, the Molotovs, they actually hit the enemy with it, and not myself, so how about that? Popping all my perks, really no reason. We're over here at the end of the, almost at the end of the game. What the hell am I going to do with them? There's not going to be too many better situations to use them. Start pushing up because I see this dot down over there. And, you know, pushed a little aggressive. I just left my whole right side exposed. But we have a sensor right there, so I felt pretty comfortable. There's a trauma kit down there, which I'm letting the captain know. I'm like, yo, just in case if you need this, yo. Put a couple bullets in here. Boom. Managed to pop them down. All right, cool. And then I told him, I was like, right, I'm going to back right back up to where I was, though. Because I really like this position over here. And I like the fact that he's able to see my whole right side. And I can just pop up and be like, pop, pop, bang. Like, what's up? Got a couple more people here. I've actually got two people left. Kind of looking, waiting, patience. See the dot come up. I'm like, uh-oh, okay. Coming this way. Pull out that SMG again just for the close range engagement. I feel a little bit comfortable with this bad boy. But you kind of remember, like, this isn't really that that close, like, sometimes. So I'm kind of looking. I see my man's over here. I hit him with the cluster. Hit him with the cluster. Heal. And then the cluster does the rest right there. And you get the dubs. You get the dubs. Woo!